Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is John Rambo. Uh, it would appear I'm in the uh, path of Hurricane Florence. <laughs> the projected path of Hurricane Florence. Uh, they talked like it was going to hit the North Carolina coastline at about either late Thursday or early Friday. And uh, I think right now it's Cat 4. Now, the, the last hurricane that actually affected us, Major League, was uh, Hugo, which was a Cat 5. And so, you know, I haven't seen, you know, mountain people. They're pretty, you know, they've been cleaning Walmart out here uh, the past couple of days. There's no, there's very few, there's no camping fuel like at Walmart in the camping section. There's no uh, flashlights, you know, there's uh, no lamp oil. So, uh, you know, people buying stuff up. I've heard of fuel outages in, in some of the, I think it was down along 81, I heard about a fuel outage on the interstate. Uh, this evening, I got out my generator and uh, I did a smoke test, I guess is what we call it, uh, where I work. We did a smoke test. Uh, I turned off the power of my house, make sure the generator was going through power, what it was supposed to. And it, I mean, everything worked fine, so I turned it off, put it back under the house. To keep it from getting damaged by the storm, uh, I bought 20. Well, I put five gallons of gas in the generator, and I got 20 on standby for the generator. Uh, I got two cans or two gallons of uh, chainsaw fuel and uh, mix oil mix. So uh, uh, you know, one gallon of chainsaw mix will go a long way, but I got two. Two gallons, some extra bar oil, just in case I have to cut, you know, cut myself out and cut some of my neighbors out. Uh, you know, that, that's a lot of gas. So I cut a lot of trees. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I got all the, probably all the fuel I'm going to need. Generator set up. Um, I got, I think, I got about, I counted, I think I got like six kerosene land. Uh, six kerosene lamps, and I, I think I got two lanterns. I, um, I know I got one in, uh, you seen it in the video, but I think I got another one out in my camper that's still good, so, so, you know, um, one, I'm kind of planning, like, whenever the hurricane's going on, I'm not going to fire a generator up until after the hurricane's over, or whatever. Uh, probably burn candles and lanterns. If the power goes out during the hurricane until you know after it's over I'll get out and start the generator up but uh yeah food and everything I'm good uh, most of these mountain people most of us live here for any amount of time are very resilient people uh, most of us you know, most of the people here in the mountains are clannish so to speak uh, you know when when they uh, Families will, you know, have houses next to each other, you know, like, like a uh, mom and dad, you know, they, you know, they may bought a house, and then their kids move in or something, you know, right close to them because they won't be close to their grandkids, you know. We have stuff like that around here, so, uh, so it's like you got enclaves, clans, you know. This area may be the Joneses. And over here, there's quite a few Smiths in this area, you know. Uh, that's how it is. And so, a lot of my mom's side of the family are very close by. Um, I actually bought another camper, so I I own two campers at the moment, and I got my mom and dad's campers here also. So I got three campers sitting in my yard. So um, if some of my family need to come over and camp, you know, <laughs> or whatever. I do have my well hooked up to my generator so I can run well water. It's not a problem. Um, take baths, whatever. Uh, you know, I got my my propane grill. I stuck it in the I stuck it in the building so it don't get blowed off the porch by the high winds. And and then if need be, you know, I can get in the campers and uh, we can use the the cook cook stoves in the campers. Uh, two of them's got. Uh, propane oven so 
yeah, I got a wood stove in the basement, but I probably ain't going to fire it up. You know, if it's hot, hot outside, I'm probably not going to fire the wood stove up right now. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, people that live here in the mountains, they're pretty resilient, you know. Uh, we've had, you know, we could, we've had week-long power outages before. Usually it's just in certain sections and, uh, you know, if people long term, they usually know somebody in, in town or, you know, 15 minutes away that may have power and they'll go take showers or, or whatever at their house, you know, take their uh, frozen goods. But this is going to be, this looks like it's going to affect a lot of my county, apparently. But, uh, so whatever, you know, uh, I'll say bring it on, Florence. You know, what's up? Uh, bring it on. <laughs> this is John Rambo. Continue to prepare for the storm. I'm out.